I'm selling these small portable water picks and they actually have our logo right on it. And there you go. So it, you can collapse it like this for easy travel. It's pushing the, the air out and the air actually goes in right here at the top. The water goes in at the top like that. And the water picks themselves go into this hole at the very top. When you eject them out, you press on the button right here and they pop right out and you charge it with the USB on the side here like that. And it comes with the USB charger. It takes like four hours to charge it all the way up. And the on button is in the front. So let's pull this out. Like we're going to use it. So we have to just gently, um, with some patience, pull it out because the air suction kind of doesn't want it to move. But here we go. We're pulling it out. And then it clicks into place like that. There's a stop point. So that on button now is exposed. So when you're traveling, it's in your luggage. It won't turn on automatically or accidentally in your luggage. It'll be covered up by this. Um, the container. So I'm going to press on this. It'll be low and you have to hold it for about two seconds, maybe three seconds. So one, 1,000 two, so two seconds, low, medium, high with the pulsation. And I'm going to hold it for one, 1,000 two. Okay. So two seconds, you have to hold it to shut it off. So that's how you use this. Now I'm going to show you the recipe of distilled water, hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and fine ground salt. And you put that in there for the best results on using this water pick. I'm going to show you a video from water pick and they're going to explain it to you. Some things are just different in the placement of the buttons, but you'll get the idea. And this is a really well done video. So the tip with the brush is for implants and retainers. And then the smaller tip is for uh, braces and the large classic tip is for normal teeth. And there's actually one here that they don't show in the video, but it's, but it's more like a spoon. And so you can use that to uh, like scrape the tongue or um, it'll shoot the water like as a cascade instead of a point, it will be like a stream, um, like a vertical stream, if you will, coming right off that scoop. So that's how that works. All right, let's watch this video on how to use this. So I'm gonna give you a little bit more detail about actually how to use it. You put it between the teeth, right on the gum line, and you place it there. You don't hold it a few centimeters away or millimeters away. Just keep it right there at the lowest setting you can get. And there's a thing called the Venturi effect. So if you take a garden hose that's running, water's coming out of it, and you go underwater in the pool, and the water's shooting out from the surface of the pool, the water that's coming out is not only from the garden hose, it's actually pool water that's coming out too. So the um, force water up will pull more water up with it. That's called the Venturi effect. So that, and that's how gas pumps, when you fill up your car with gas, that's how gas pumps know when to shut off automatically is, I don't know the physics behind it, but that's the Venturi effect. So when you have the water pick between the teeth at the gum line and it, you place it right there, for two seconds, what it does is it goes deep into the gum and it pulls the gunk from between the teeth and the gums all the way down to like seven millimeters. So it goes really deep. I mean, there's no way floss can do that in any way. Uh, so that's why the water pick is so important. Now you can have no symptoms at all in the mouth. You can have no cavities, no receding gum lines, no white coating on the tongue, but yet have pathogenic bacteria causing disease in the body. And this is known in the holistic dental circles. And there's associations of holistic surgeons and holistic, you know, oral surgeons and dentists. And there's labs that focus just on finding pathogenic bacteria in the mouth. And you give them a saliva test, they test for the DNA of various pathogenic organisms. So what I'm saying is not like a new thing. I mean, it might be new for you 
but when you when you um study like i do and you talk to people who are holistic they're like yeah you can have no symptoms in here but the bac pathogenic bacteria are hiding between the teeth and the gums you can't see it you can't detect it in any way but you use the water pick and then suddenly your vision improves which is what happened to me for the first time when i used that a few years ago my vision immediately improved it was quite dramatic so i've had people use the water pick and within one week, their lifelong constipation was resolved. That happened to three different uh, patients. Um, I have a patient who was swishing with hydrogen peroxide, not even using the water pick, and all of his arthritis went away. So when you use this hydrogen peroxide recipe, um, you can use it every day for, let's say, three weeks or four weeks at the most. Then you want to stop, and you can switch it just to distilled water or filtered water. and then Or maybe you can put in some colloidal silver or a few drops of essential um, oils, but you don't want to use um, an antimicrobial every day for three months or six months or a year, because that can cause some damage. And that's the same concept with uh, regular fluoride-based toothpaste or um, herbal uh, toothpaste that are killers like clove or neem or mint, and they are antimicrobial. You want a probiotic toothpaste, and we sell one called Revitin. But anyways, getting back to this, you can cycle it. You can do the hydrogen peroxide recipe, let's say every day for a month, and then skip skip a month and then do it again for a month. So you want to cycle on and off of it. Now, as your mouth gets healthier, you can use it less often, but you still want to use it for maintenance sometimes. So I'll fill up mine and I'll let it run out, you know, like I'll use it every other day. And then when it's empty, I'll let it sit for a week or two weeks, then I'll use it again. So let's go over the recipe. So when you make this up, you can pull this all the way out. Okay, and pour the water in there. And my office sells this 12% hydrogen peroxide, food grade without stabilizers. So you fill it up with a little bit of water. So you want to store this in the refrigerator. So I pour some of this into just an empty uh, bottle like that. And then the quantity that you put in there is seven drops, five to seven drops. So one, two, three, four, five. That's where I'm starting off with. It's a very low dose, but it's it's all that you need. And then there's the fine ground salt and then the uh, baking soda. Now, regarding the salt, you want to put in a 1 16th of a teaspoon. I don't even have a measuring device that's that small. So I just shake in a few shakes of the salt into the container. And then the baking soda is 1 8th of a teaspoon. So you can get a measuring device for that and put that in there. Okay, and then stir it up. And then add in the rest of the water and then fill it up. Now, you don't want to fill it up all the way because there's these breaks right here. So you have to add in the device like this and you push it in. And there's a snap, there's another snap. So that means it's pushed in as much as you need to push it in. And then it's ready to go. Put your nozzle on the top and do as the video says. So with this video, I'm not trying to sell you on this product. I'm assuming that you've seen my videos talking about it on YouTube. You read my ebook. You took my course on cholera up focal infections. Um, I've given a lot of education as to why this is needed and the symptoms that can uh, occur from having organisms above the collar, whether it's ears, nose, sinuses, but mouth certainly is a major issue. Don't forget to have a really good dentist. Get a cone beam, Look, have a 3D x-ray for your jaw to see if you have an infection, maybe from where uh, bad root canals are or uh, molars, wisdom teeth taken out. There can be problems there. Um, there can be cancer caused by an infection in one tooth. So a really good dentist is very, very important. So I hope you like this information and uh, share this with your friends. Make sure that um, everybody stays really healthy and keep improving your health.